Hi, I'm Phil Routley, and this is 5 Minutes with Phil. My take on 1 Timothy, Paul's letter to his mentee, and I've just called it Timothy, my son. And in chapter 4, we read these words, For everything God created is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. Sometimes scripture is just plain confusing. For everything God created is good. Got that. God made it. It has a purpose. It fits God's purpose, and therefore it's good. Nothing is to be rejected. Okay, it's good. We should not call it bad, so I can go along with that. If it's received with thanksgiving, so it's being good is conditional upon how I see it. If it's something I'm thankful for, like sashimi, it's good. But if I'm not thankful for it, like chicken livers, it's not good. Yep, I'm definitely confused. I'm thinking about becoming all things to all men. A number of years ago, my sister Marion was a travel agent, and it wasn't unusual for her to go on uh, fam trips, familiarization trips, including cruises and vacations in foreign lands. It was good for business. On one of those trips, as I recall, it took her on a cruise on the Yangtze River in China and included some time in Beijing. As you'd expect, she was offered some pretty exotic and unusual foods. I don't recall the specifics, but I do know that her philosophy was that if they put it in front of you, just eat it. Don't ask too many questions. And I think that may be what Paul is getting at here. It's not some deep theological point. It's a practical fellowship point. If you're invited to someone's home, be polite and eat what's put in front of you. Don't interrogate the host and don't turn up your nose and say, ew. Instead, be thankful and try not to throw up. Be self-controlled. If you are consecrated, if your life is dedicated to the Lord, don't call anything unclean that the Lord has made. We love food. I love very hot and spicy food, while Elsie loves foods that are tasty, but not too spicy, if at all. We love experimenting with different ethnic foods from real Chinese, so different from North American sweet and sour pork, including dim sum, which we would have never tried unless it was introduced to us by a friend. So far, the only thing we wouldn't order again would be the barbecued chicken feet. We had no idea how to eat sushi with the soy sauce and the wasabi until someone showed us. In fact, many of the things that we really like now are because someone went before us. When it comes to putting chili flakes on pizza and pasta, it was my brother-in-law, Gord. He liked it, and I liked the challenge. Over 40 years ago, my uncle told me that if I could drink black coffee for a month, no sugar, no cream, I'd never go back to double-double, as we say here in Canada. It took me a while to try it, but it was true. Occasionally, I have a latte, and every once in a while, someone will buy me a coffee that isn't black, and I can drink it, but I don't enjoy it nearly as much. But according to Paul, if I'm thankful for it, and I'm concentrated it won't kill me. Saw an interesting article a while back about a very famous restaurant in New York City, 11 Madison Park, which announced in May 2022 that it would be vegan only. They have a very exclusive, all-inclusive menu, which was, are you ready for this? $335 per person, including tip, but not beverages. Wine pairings start at $175 per person. Not only is this crazy, but it's extreme in its virtue signaling. Their explanation is the current food system is simply not sustainable in so many ways. We wanted everyone who comes into contact with 11 Madison Park to become a part of doing good. I wonder what Paul would have said. But get this. They now have a private members-only room, which includes scallop, lobster, chicken, and beef tenderloin. Unbelievable. For the sake of the planet, don't eat meat. Unless you're among the elite, then it's okay. 
So what if someone offers you meat that's been sacrificed to idols? Will it offend someone? Then don't eat it. But if not, enjoy. Remember that idols are nothing anyway. And God will keep you safe. Thanks for joining me today.